Uh, in this lesson, we are going to make um, our settings form work. So it gets sent. It should be sent to the create method. So let's start with our, our create. When we click on submit, uh, we want to create a new settings object um, using the settings params, um, the strong parameters. And then here we can now say if setting the save. So if it's successfully saved, then we want to uh, redirect to. So in this case, uh, <coughs> we want to um, redirect to the edit uh, to the edit page. Yep. So edit admin uh, setting URL. Okay. So we pass in the setting that we want to edit. All right. And if something went wrong, then we can do what we've done before and set a flash message alert and say there was a problem uh, create and set in. and re-render uh, the new okay and that's that and over here obviously we want a, a notice as well uh, so they have a successfully uh, created Saturn. All right, so this is the create uh, done and edit uh, will take us to this edit here. So let's um, give this a go. I put a site name is Kings's blog and we could put post per page is 20 under maintenance and then click on submit and we can see it's successfully created and we are redirected to the edit um, dot HTML dot index. All right, so next let's um, work on the edit method. All right, so the edit method, we are going to create uh, an instance variable. And to do that, we do a find using the params sent over. All right, and now we can uh, go ahead and open up our edit. So I'm going to just get this here and get rid of this line. So our edit and new are exactly the same. So we are going to use partials. So go into the settings folder and right click and create a new file and save this file as underscore form dot HTML dot ERB. So this is a partial uh, form. Okay. Remember underscore. All right. So what we want to do is uh, cut this uh, from new and paste it into our partial underscore form, right? And then here we want to uh, render the partial. So it's a render and then form. All right, and copy this, uh, save and go into our edit and then paste. <clears throat> so now when we refresh the page, we have our edit and it has data in it, so it works. And we have our edit um, update settings here. All right, so when we update our settings, it will um, be sent to update method. So let's handle that here. All right, so we say settings and we do a find. All right, and uh, when we find that record, we then go ahead and update settings params. Okay, and if the update is successful, we want to redirect back to the edit page. Uh, that is small s Saturn. Yep. And then we'll give it a notice and all right. And if something went wrong, we set the flash manually. Would be nice if you could have a a flash with um with a notice um render with notice, but I don't think you can. So we say render, and then we say uh, edit. Would be nice to have comma and then notice there after render, but not possibly. All right, so now we can uh, save this and then uncheck and update and the page has successfully updated and it's not um, checked anymore. 
so we know that works but if we go on to forward slash new uh, you will notice it allows us it gives us a form field to create another settings but we want to prevent that from ever happening so what we can say is if settings that any so if any settings already exists then we want to do something else all right so here we want to say if settings already exist in the database then we want you to redirect uh, this user or any user uh, to the edit um, page okay and edit will we'll send uh, settings dot first so this will give us the first record in the database which hopefully is the only record there all right so let's refresh the page what happens it redirects us straight to edit so anytime you visit the new <clears throat> you will get redirected straight to the edit page okay so now um, we can see that works okay so if we double check the database we have just one record there and when you refresh it's only one record so that's that's what we want <clears throat> All right, so um, if I come over here and I um, edit this, uh, change it to test and update, um, it's done, and we could go into the database and double check, and we should have just one record uh, test there. All right, so that works. So we can create, we can update, uh, this field and we can also uh, not delete so that's all done so we have completed all this uh, specification now uh, we have a bit of work to do with the front end so all this is done we now need to hook this all up to work with the front end of the blog and then we'll um, add bootstrap uh, to it so we've done all these uh, admin controllers. Um, a lot of them have quite similar um, repetitive uh, work, which is good uh, to learn. And um, this is where this lesson ends, and I will see you in the next lesson.